Your smartphone can be an excellent external monitor for your Sony Alpha camera. Very convenient to use when you're going out and about, but not so convenient at home when it's much better to use one of these as your external monitor. Or what I have is the 4K monitor, which I'm filming at the moment. There's certain advantages of using your smartphone externally in which you can frame yourself and also to use settings from the camera via your phone, such as ISO and aperture to name a few. For the Alpha 6400, go to menu settings and go to network one. Fourth from the top, you'll see controlled with smart flown. Press OK, press on that and press on connection. And then you'll get your QR code. First, we need to download Sony's app called Imaging Edge Mobile. Since I've got an Android phone, um, I'm in Google Play. Install, then open. All right, this is the stream you'll get when you've made it into the app. Press connect with a new camera and then press scan QR code. Press OK. Allow. Scan. And connect. I've chosen to go to a national park to test out the features on my smartphone as external monitor. And um, first thing you can do with the monitor is to frame yourself. And I'm fortunate I have the Alpha 6400, which has a selfie flip screen, so I'm able to do that. If you didn't have a, that feature, the smartphone could actually help you do that. Second thing you can do is to record. I've already pressed record so I don't have to go to the back of the camera and press the button. If you want to actually zoom in, you can do that. You can press, um, they've got two buttons on the bottom here. I'm gonna zoom in, you just press T, which is for telephoto. And yes, you can go zoom in, and then you can zoom out. Okay, okay here's, here's the shutter speed. Shutter speed is one over 50, because I'm filming at 24 frames per second, that is just what to a one, I won't change that. And, but I might want to change the aperture depending on the lighting situation. Also to adjust the, the amount of light, I've got, I can change the ISO. I'm on ISO 200 to keep the ISO as low as possible. Before you actually do the filming, you can change the white balance. Uh, unfortunately, when you're actually recording, you cannot change it, that feature. I've got it on auto white balance, but like, you can experiment. There are a few features on the menu. You can select the frame rate that you want whether you want to film in 4K or not. Those are the options you need to do before you actually do the recording. Um, but while you're recording, you can change the grid lines and you can turn mirroring mode on or off. So as you can see, there's quite a few things you can do with your smartphone as an external monitor for your camera. It just shows you how useful it is, especially when you're out in the field and you don't want to move your camera or move your tripod or anything else. You don't want to touch your camera. It's much, it's really great, great thing to have. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.